Friends, welcome to the Elk Shape YouTube channel where we sell you hard work. We are getting ready to go to Canada Egg. We got a subscriber camp. Who is going? My dad. We're bringing Tyler Denham. He's been on the channel before. He's been a childhood friend. And I'm bringing Josh Jones because he's helped me so much with archery. It's a way to give back and put up with his mohawk and shenanigans. What am I taking on this hunt? Well, I have two bear tags. I'm gonna bring two bows. I'm gonna shoot hopefully a bear with each bow with a different setup. Setup number one is the Pro Comps with the hot melt with the Iron Wheel Snyder core system, single bevel 125 solid with the Pro Comp $80 arrows out of my Face 429 that has the QAD and a great first time running it, starting to fall in love with it. Uh, I'm also running the Canyon Pounder from Dan Evans. That'll be on that setup. On my other Phase 4 29, we have a Hamsky Epsilon. We have a HHA Tetra 4 attached to a UV 3XL, 3 pin technically 4. And I'm going to be using on that setup RIP TKOs tipped with Grim Reaper Mechanical Pros. So right now I've got to pack. i got to get some hunting gear together. i got to make sure nothing goes in my bag that I can't get across the Canadian border. You need a passport or an enhanced driver's license. You need to not have DUIs on your record. And you need to have maybe proof with you of where you're going and what you're up to. We're going to do all that. Hopefully we can get across the border. We'll see you Saturday morning when all the fellas come over to my house, park their rigs, hop in my truck, and we hit the road. Friends, you guys remember Tyler Denham? He's been on the channel a few times. He's been my buddy... I don't know, since we're four or five years old. Anyways, if you guys don't remember, Tyler's been on the channel here and there. He's going with us to Canada to shoot some bears, eh? With all our subs. we got subs coming. It's going to be an epic week. He just informed me that he needs to do some things to his bow before we go and practice shooting from a seated position. Let's go check in with Tyler, shall we? Why are you practicing them from a seated position? Because I am behind and just making sure my broadheads hit where they're supposed to be right now. What do you think of my new setup? So I don't have to hear about you have neighbors behind you. Yeah, it's it's good. Yeah. It's uh, good. How's the new to you, Matthews? Excellent. B3X? Yup. How was uh, firefighting last night? Busy. And what are these, born primitives? I just got these today and I'm very impressed with the fit. Let's look at your D-loop. Put your hand D-loop's in D-loop's got some frays on it that make me a little nervous. Let's solve that today. How was getting your passport? Well, um, I checked the uh, tracking number on it and it's currently in Spokane and should arrive at my house tomorrow by 6 p.m. Tell the viewers what you had to do to get a passport. So your passport expired. Passport expired in February, so I had to, on Tuesday, I flew to Seattle, took an Uber from the airport to the passport office. I bet that was expensive. About 660. One way. Yep, sat in the passport office forever. Uh, finally got up to the window, paid an extra. Uh, it was supposed to be overnighted, show up tonight, and Hopefully it shows up tomorrow. Yeah, otherwise you're not going. Pretty much. And Black Eagle Rampages, uh, 250 spine. These ones are the 001. Is that a VAP? Uh, no. Yeah. Is it VAP? 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 Yeah. So when a bear hears that click, it, that's about the last sound they're ever going to hear? Yeah, if they hear the click. What release date is this? True Fire Seer, I believe. Jake can't go on this trip. His dad is not in good health, so prayers for his dad. You need to stay home, be responsible. Tyler's gonna fill in. And we got my dad going and MFJJ. We leave Saturday. Also, roll the turkey footage. Dan, I'm talking in third person, <laughs> doubled, uh, doubled down today on turkeys and got it on footage, self-filming, and uh, I used the Iron Wheel single bevel.
So what year is this? 96. How long have you had it? Since 2004. And how many miles? It's got 283,000 miles. Is Toyota the best? Pretty much. I bought it with 82,000 miles, so I've Damn. driven it 200. We're gonna check Tyler. Uh, first, we're gonna check your timing. You're not done. We're gonna check the timing. Because right now his broadheads are hitting low left compared to fill point impact. I just want to check his time. I want to have him shoot through paper. He doesn't have a bear shaft. Check a couple things and I know you guys are really into that. So this is how it looks like. Oh, I got a letter. Here, while you open this up, I'll read the letter. Hello, Dan, thanks again. I appreciate you taking the time to evaluate my paper tuner. I have been an archery hunter since I was 14. If you set the tension on all the screws correctly, the paper should pull down easy with one hand. As you are tuning your arrow, it comes with 45 feet of paper rolled into an arrow shaft, which, and once it's gone, you can slide a new roll. And it's even got the little Cherry, indicators. Like gears. A perfect bullet hole. So you don't have to go Google it. A right tear, a left tear. So that the target's gonna drop down right here, giving us enough room for an arrow to go through the paper into the target and still have some room. So Tyler's working on that. And then I'm gonna throw Tyler's bow in just the draw board to see, double check time before we even shoot through paper. Bow is in time. And this is not a VPA. This is a tooth of the arrow. No, that's, what do you have on your website? The S is a oh, slick yeah. trick. Slick trick, the new slick trick, huh? Yeah. SS. Not there. That's spinning really good. You guys, it's tough to tell on camera, but in real life, that's wobbling. Should be really, really straight. Okay, about 484. Um, actually, I'm, I'm making a bear shaft. Those are max stealths. They weigh a little more than your average vein. 483, and Tyler's arrows are all around 483 to 485. So remember how I told you you needed to raise your rest a little bit? Okay, so Tyler's loosening his cord, his down cord, to give him some freedom, and then he's got that cracked on the set screw, and then he's got this knob right here. He's gonna rotate to the right, and it should move it up. Probably what, like a few clicks, not very many. Mm. So on this rest, guys, there's two set screws for elevation. Tyler's getting those cracked right now. Doesn't take a lot of elbow grease just to get them cracked. Rest is bumped up. How many clicks, Ty? I think just two. Okay, make a really good clean break for me. Here's, um, Here's the veins lying to Tyler saying, oh, you're tuned. And then here's the first bear shaft. And then here's the second bear shaft. Good thing about bear hunting in the spring is it kind of forces the issue of you better have your stuff tuned, right? Yep. Otherwise you'd be like everybody else doing this in August. That's way better. Now let's go shoot a fill point with veins and a fill point without veins. So this fill point's the is highest. a fill point. Broadhead, but that's pretty close. Yeah, that's way better than it was. And then bear shaft. He bumped his rest up. How many clicks? Three or four. Three or four. So guys, he's bumped his rest up somewhere between six to eight clicks. Point of impact on both the bear shaft and the fletch vein. And then the broadhead should be close to this. All right guys, we got Tyler with the broadhead at 30 yards post shop shenanigans. Let's get a new D-loop on there too while we're at it. It always makes me nervous. So that was frayed. Just enough for Tyler's like, ah, I don't like that. So I don't blame him. About four and a quarter. Puff daddies. So this knot is facing that way. So then this knot's gotta face us. Tyler's gonna go double check everything and then uh, finish up with a few shots seated just to refresh his muscle memory. And then uh, we're headed to Canada. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little tune video. Shout out to papertuner.com, whoever you are. Thank you for that. I think it's awesome. We'll be using it. And uh, appreciate you guys. Catch you on the next one.